beautiful with her, isn't it? The blue bells. Yeah. See the captains on the hazel. They all hate the flag, isn't it? I know. Yeah, it's hard to them, isn't it? That was really strong, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I it, you have like that far. New galaxy, isn't it? You start walking through it. Hello again there folks and welcome back to another video Both myself and Claire came out on this one to forage for wild garlic um, If you head off to a woodland where you can find wild garlic You'll probably be able to smell it before you see it because it has a really, really strong, pungent, garlicky smell. It's a really pleasant smell, which uh, smells amazing. Um, and yeah, wild garlic, ramsons, um, it has a lot of uses, like with culinary. Um, today we're going to make some wild garlic soup. I mean, you can make pestos, you can flavour oils, you can add it to butters, um, making garlic bread, garlic mushrooms are fantastic with it. Um, but yeah, it's a really useful herb to, to, to find. Um, quite easy to recognise with these spear like shaped leaves um, and the flower the flower that produces that uh, will be a white flower um, again really strong smelling and taste of garlic yeah it's a fantastic herb um, and where we are now is a big carpet of the stuff um, and generally where there is wild garlic it usually covers a big area um, as it is here but yeah I mean it's got plenty of health benefits it's antibacterial antifungal um, antiseptic and it's uh, it's uh, been recognized for reducing blood pressure so therefore um, if it reduces blood pressure then it's going to be good for um, preventing things like heart disease and strokes that sort of thing but yeah it's a great great thing we're going to carry on now and collect it 
Yeah, we've got Claire there, busy away, harvesting wild garlic. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, therapeutic. Therapeutic. Yeah. And we've got Macy, busy up there, sniffing about. And it's another absolutely beautiful day. And sun shining, the birds are singing, the water's trickling by again. Just what else do you want? It's absolutely fantastic, stunning. Right, I'm gonna get myself and help Claire. Here we go, we've got some of the garlic flowers already open. Um, as I was saying earlier, they're just like little um, white flowers. How many petals is that? Six. Six uh, little white petals. We've got a few more just along here on this bank side. I don't know if the camera's picking them up. But there is quite a few more already open. But this spot here is quite the sunny spot, so that's maybe why. But yeah. That's us back at the caravan now. We've harvested our wild garlic. We just need to rinse that under a tap, um, make sure it's clean. I've got the stove, a little camping stove and a pan set up, ready for cooking the soup. Um, but we've got a few more ingredients for this yet. We've got some butter, um, that'll be to saute um, the onion, some leeks and some potatoes. We'll add them to the pan, saute them off with a bit of white pepper. Then we'll add some vegetable stock, simmer it all up uh, until it's soft. When it's, at, when it's at that stage, we add the garlic, um, let cook it for another few minutes, blitz it down with a stick blender, and then we'll add some cream. Uh, but I'm gonna chop this lot up now. There we've added the leeks, the onion and the butter to the pan and we're just gently um, sweating them down. We want them to uh, soften but we don't really want any colour in them. What we do now, we'll put a bit of white pepper in there. About that much. A tiny bit more for good luck. There we go some white pepper in. Now we'll give that a stir through. Already the smells coming from this are absolutely amazing. But yeah, we'll give that a few more minutes before we add, we add the potatoes. And whilst this is sweating away, I may as well get them chopped up, ready to go in. There we've got the onions and leeks sweating down nicely and a bit of butter um, we're about ready for putting the potatoes in now so we'll get that done and then uh, we'll uh, get some stock put in and we'll get it boiled away it's absolutely smelling amazing the smell coming from this is unreal now I've added the potatoes to this now we're just going to add some vegetable stock we're just going to use these uh, these little things here. So we're going to just pop them in. I don't think this one wants to come out. There we go. I think I'll put three of these in. I'll put three of them in. Two. There's the three, give that a bit of a mix up. 
and I've just brought the kettle and we'll just top that up with water I think that should do it Alright mates, what we do now is turn up the heat and turn that right up we'll put the lid on and we let that uh, simmer away until everything's tender and then uh, we'll add the garlic but this is absolutely looking beautiful it's smelling amazing and you can't beat cooking outside there we go Right, all the vegetables have now tenderised, the potatoes are soft, so what we can do now, we can add the uh, garlic, so we'll add that, it's all been washed, and check that there's nothing there that shouldn't be. Uh, we'll add that. Bit of a scabby leaf there, so we'll lose that one. Stir that through, and we'll just let that welt, wilt even. Just add a little bit more, I think. I think that should do it. We'll put the lid back on there, and we'll just give that a few minutes, and then what we'll do. I'll take it inside, we'll put it through the blender and then we'll come back out and we'll add the cream and dish up. Right, the soup's been passed through a blender I've brought it back out and put it on a gentle heat what I'm going to do now is put in some sour cream take that lid right off I think it's just going to be in the way so we'll put in roughly about half the tub for the time being and then we'll check on that, see what it's like. This is looking and smelling absolutely delicious. I would definitely recommend anyone trying uh, to, to make this soup, don't be put off by the colour because it is quite a, a vibrant green but it does taste amazing or it has tasted amazing the last time I made it so we'll just let that heat through gently and then we'll get it served right that's the soup finished so what I'm going to do now, we'll dish out How many ladles do you want, Claire? Two or three? Two. Two. And a bit. Yeah. That's one. Take the lid off there. There we go. That's them dished out. What I like to do now is Season it with a hard cheese. We've got this uh, Parmigiano. So we'll just grate a little bit of that into the soup. Just a bit better than well, a bit better than salt, but it's high in fat in it, so probably not. A little bit of cheese on there. Right there out the way. And 
And what I've done, I've grated some of the cheese and put them in a pan to melt to make these crisps. So we'll put them in the soup as well. And just a little dollop of sour cream. There we go. That's our soup. And I'm looking forward to this. You're looking forward to it, Claire? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll bring you along and let, let, have a look at this. There we go, there's the finished soup. And I'm really looking forward to eating this. It does smell absolutely amazing. So, oh, really looking forward to that. Right, the moment of truth. There you go, Dal. There's your soup. Tell me what you think. There's your spoon. Tell me what you think. We'll give this a try now. Oh, you give it one now. That's gorgeous. That really, really is nice. Try this crisp then. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Definitely give this a go. It really is tasty and really good for you. really nice. Right, we're going to carry on and eat this and just enjoy being outside. So, bye for now. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Please share. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, stay safe. <laughs> you're not saying bye. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> sick